All right, let's talk about circumcisions. I want to make sure that if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. But here are a couple of things to take into consideration when doing a circumcision on your son. The first thing is to make sure that you do the vitamin K shot at the hospital and or wait till day eight or nine post birth because that's when they are producing their own vitamin K, which is supportive of blood clotting. So we want to make sure that they will go through their circumcision, you're already home, you're doing at-home care, and um, you're going to need some petroleum jelly. So right here I have the Aquaphor. Um, you can use this one, you can use Vaseline, or you can use just regular petroleum jelly. But I choose the squeezable containers because it's easier, it's faster, you're not trying to dip your finger, you really don't want to touch the tip of the penis at all. You want to make sure that you, when you're changing your diaper, that you have... Um, your baby settled down. Sometimes I swaddle the arms if I can, otherwise I'm going in for a change. You're gonna change more frequently, so don't let them sit in a dirty diaper. Um, and as you go in for the, the putting the cream on your baby, you're going to make sure that, let me get his legs kind of pulled up. You're gonna pull the legs up, really open up the bottom, and um, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this all around the tip of the penis. It's really important that you do a complete circumference of the penis. Do not go light on the petroleum jelly. Don't spare it at all. You want to make sure that this, the tip of the penis never gets stuck to the cloth of the diaper because that's when you can cause some pain or damage to your son's circumcision. So I squeeze it all the way around and then I can just go ahead and go back to my changing but I'm going to pull a little closer so you can see it's completely around the top of the penis and then when you put your diaper back on you're only wiping the bum. You're never going to put a wipey over top of the penis at all or the sides. Just make sure it stays clean. Check it out. Make sure that there's no poopy on there and then put the cream on there. Close it back up and you'll have to do this for about four to five days or until you notice that the area is completely healed. If there's a little cap that they put on the penis, then you don't use petroleum jelly at all. You just wait for that little, um, it's actually sealing the blood and you wait for it to fall off on its own. So don't touch it. Don't put any cream on their bottom or their penis at all. Just wait for that to naturally fall off on its own. It's kind of like a scab. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We're happy to help and we're happy to direct you to your pediatrician when you need extra support.